Cheers. Welcome to Fireside Philosophy on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Shut up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> to start off. <laughs> By the way, I'm here. I'm Steve, and I'm here with Matt. Yes. <laughs> Christy. Tim. And Tim. And Mike. Yo. And uh, today we're drinking Swamis again because we can. It's delicious, I agree. It's still good. Good job, guys. I'm not drinking Swamis. I'm drinking some... some Shock Christy is something. drinking Shock Top. What Christ. do you think? Christy has betrayed the microbrew code. <laughs> shock Top's gross, but it's beer. <laughs> Wheat beer. So, so, so she passed barely this week. Yeah. We don't need your advertising dollars in this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out for the Sam Adams, that's so right. yeah, I never got a call. Screw all you Guinness large breweries. Or the, that's right. Yeah. Along with the uh, kombucha, the .05 proof. Right Very nice. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Probably here. better than shy. <laughs> 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 and probably also stronger. <laughs> I don't know about stronger, yes, yes. but... <laughs> Jokingly better. stronger. <laughs> better for you, for sure. Probably Hibiscus for ginger yeah. with a, you know, a, a dash of the uh, grapefruit. Yes. Yeah. Nice. For gluten-free. Is that, yeah. is, that, is that the store-bought kind, or did you make it yourself? Oh, uh, store-bought. <laughs> As long as there's bacteria in it. Right? Yeah, as long as there's <laughs> bacteria. Yeah, so uh, anyway, first of all, I want to say I'm glad Mike is back with us. Alive in one piece. Yeah, I did it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike got uh, harassed and arrested. By some thugs and from some gang, right? Yeah, yeah. the gang, really. Oh, that's yeah. Right. yeah, he was kidnapped yes, yes. and held <laughs> for ransom. Strangely, they were wearing brown shirts. They really, yeah, they were wearing brown uh, shirts. Brown? Yeah. Not black? No, it was, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Brown shirts, yeah, okay. literally brown shirts. brown shirts. Brown shirts. Badges. Yeah, they had shiny UPS? badges. UPS? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if they're UPS, I'm sure they would have treated me better. But yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. they actually want your business. Yeah, That's right. they want your business. <laughs> well, so do they, <laughs> unfortunately. Is there anything you want to say about that? Um, all right, so. Um, Jail is a very shitty experience. Um, you know, it's uh, when you get arrested for you know alleged victimless victimless crimes. They treat you the exact same way they treat everybody else. And quite frankly, when they say, "Do you need to?" See, you know, when they read your rights and say you have the right to see an attorney if you can't afford one, one will be provided to you. Blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, that's really kind of bullshit. You're not going <laughs> to actually see a lawyer until your court date. But so if you're being, like, say, hypothetically, I wasn't, but hypothetically, if you're being interrogated or something, there's no, like, law and order, like, scene where there's, like, a, a public defender being like, don't tell them that. Like, <laughs> that doesn't happen. You don't see an attorney until your first court date. So, yeah, that that's, that's some, uh, you know, some fable we've been told for a very long time, apparently. Yeah, it sucks. Do you know anything? You, you, they haven't filed formal charges or anything, right? Technically, they haven't filed charges. I mean, there was the the, the, the arresting the, charges, the, the arresting charges, but t- technically, formal charges have not been filed. So, well, we'll see what happens with that. Um, you know, I I'm gonna end up having to go with a, a public defender, but I'm gonna try to file a couple motions so I can at least be doing most of the defense myself. At least that's the plan. We'll see what goes on with that. As for getting a lawyer, yeah, you think about it, but t- funds are a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna maybe have there's to, somebody out there, and I'm gonna. Well, yeah. If, it, if any it, of it, you watching this uh, would like to help Mike out, have any advice for him, or maybe possibly uh, contacts that you can get a hold of. Also, if you want to donate to Mike's uh, legal fund. You can go to our website, naturalrightscoalition.org. It'll be in the description of this of this video. Uh, you can you can donate by Bitcoin or PayPal there. If you have if you want to donate in other ways, you can contact us, and we can figure something out. What was your victimless crime spree? Like? Uh, oh yeah, it was uh, apparently. Uh, Allegedly. Allegedly, uh, uh, it was uh, driving without a license, <gasps> and the, ooh, that's what the, that was one of you the. You didn't have your permission slip. Yeah, I didn't have I didn't have my permission slip. They didn't say I could, I could do something. Allegedly, 
and uh, you know, and then just your various other just you know charges of bullshit because they say this stuff that they allegedly found was illegal, and there you go, and they throw you in jail until you can get out. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, crappy situation all around, but we're here for you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Well, we can kind it, of yeah. address it when we go yes. into the, one of those topics for tonight, too, like in a general way. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't think that was at all noticeable, Steve. Donna, okay, I'm going to get that sound. We're having oh, technical issues. Musical, musical chairs going on here. <laughs> Rock and roll. Yeah, when you have a big audience. <laughs> our podcast is just so popular. Everyone wants, <laughs> our live audience has grown. The whole, the whole world is watching. <laughs> Fireside Philosophy is, is filmed before a live stream. <laughs> 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 Of all we are yeah. closest to friends. So we're also going to be discussing saving the world, am I right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So we were yeah. we were out uh, over here discussing uh, different different uh, technologies and things that have come about come about recently, and discoveries that have come about in the last several years, and. We came up with a list of about three things that we really think are game changers in the in the fight for liberty, so to speak. And I think we're going to discuss those tonight. Um, first of all, let's discuss uh, the the items. Number one, uh, 3D printing. Um, it's really I, I think it's a game changer because it it. Uh, brings manufacturing down to the individual. You no longer need a large corporation and therefore are much easy it's much easier to get products that you want without government oversight. You guys agree? Yeah, yeah you yeah, wouldn't need a, a, a license for manufacturing in some facility because you didn't get your manufacturing permit to zone whatever commercial space to do whatever thing to pay another fine to then do it you have the ability to just do it you know. and, and then the second topic is cryptocurrency and related related technologies uh, this one really has the chance to change things because it takes us away from the dollar. It gets us out of the legal system in some ways through things like uh, self-regulating contracts and things like that, which we'll go over in another episode most likely. Uh, what do you What do you guys think about that? I think I think we should dedicate an episode to each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's course. a good idea. Yeah, the, idea, the ideas of it becoming three parts is starting to sound a little bit better. It's a little <laughs> and bit, it's not uh, 17, so we can get over yeah, this that's right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can do this. Yeah. Um, and the last one, I th which I think we should talk about tonight, is hemp and marijuana. Which, uh, there's a plenty of wonderful uses for hemp to, um, you know, uh, everything from what hemp, hempcrete to... Um, Clothing. Clothing. Clothing, you can make course. clothing out of clothing. hemp. Yeah, he's um, actually wearing hemp pants right hemp now. Pants, hemp pants, hemp clothing. Yeah, I, I, to me Textiles, personally, the, uh, paper. the most uh, useful one, I think, is, is the hempcrete. The idea that you can grow this thing and turn it into something that you're building uh, yeah. with is, is yeah. really amazing. Yeah, you could actually grow on a piece of land, which, which also detoxifies the soil as well. Yeah. And then you can take that plant and then build a house... With, <laughs> with it in the same area. I think that's an amazing idea. The, 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 the durability of it alone is, is what, six times, six times the uh, so strength of, of cotton. Yeah. <laughs> six times the strength of cotton. It, it dies uh, much better. Holds, holds dies. Oh, with it, with it's it stronger dies, than right? concrete, it's, too, as, as yes. hempcrete. Yes, it is. And you hempcrete? Can, what? Hempcrete. Yeah, so you, 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 you grow. It may be patented, so if it, patent trolls out there, screw you guys. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's it's a basically what they do is they mix a concrete mix with hemp that is grown on site, and you can make it. It's very uh, uh, I, there's a lot of fiber in, in it, or yeah, the, the fiber is works very well as insulation. Uh, there's a factory I I remember hearing about that 
they don't need uh, cooling or heating because of the hempcrete because it, it's very thick too and it's cheap to make because you can grow it on site mix it on site and do it all there so do you mush it up or is it just it, laid it's out? mixed with some form of concrete i don't know exactly what it is huh. but the the main ingredient is hemp so there, there, there's some stone involved, but nowhere near the, uh, the same amount. Too. Yeah, I don't know exactly what the mixture is, but the concept is definitely worthy of replication. Well, the insulation factors are supposed to be phenomenal. So, so. Yeah. And and for so, homes. And it's got thousands too. of uses. Uh, yeah. Wow, I mean, I've never heard of that. Because we want to build this house, you know, with concrete or whatever. And it's much and, more dense than yeah. uh, trees. You, you can grow for one acre of uh, material that you would get right, from trees, right. you would get three from hemp. Okay. So it's much more economical. And That's and it grows much faster than trees. Yes. <laughs> and it, uh, it puts no nitrogen back in the soil, doesn't it? Of course, like yes. It's, it's, one it's of those a great rotation that, crop. Yes. Um, and it also takes out um, bad things like... Um, yeah, it, it detoxifies, detoxifies the soil. The soil. The soil. Yeah. Yes. yeah, there was a little, little fact that I found out uh, a couple years ago was... Uh, they actually planted a whole bunch of uh, hemp around Chernobyl. Really? Yeah, little wow. thing you don't know. They planted a whole bunch of hemp Recently around Chernobyl. Recently, they just started they, doing they that. They did probably about fifteen. I'm good, but they did it about probably about I want to say ten years ago. They started doing it, maybe fifteen. But yeah, they didn't think twice about it because it works. You know, it was just one of those like, duh. Wow. You use hemp because it does what it That's does. Cool. Wow, so, uh, I didn't hear that. That's pretty uh, cool. Wasn't. I, I believe there was a car built entirely from hemp at one point. It might have been what? Henry yeah. Ford. How did, really? Ford made, yeah, Ford made one. Yeah. One of his early models. I, I know what? there have even be, been recent cars that used yeah, hemp. There's a Cheech and Chong movie that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I remember oh, that. Movie. I thought we were talking about hemp. <laughs> well, paper. It was made hemp. out of hemp. I'm and kidding. Hemp, the hemp the family. The paper. You Dave's really. Not here, man. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. We have, we have the sales. The hemp sales that were used, uh, hemp rope. Yeah, yeah. used yeah. to be. You know, cannabis yeah. comes from cannabis. That's that's why they call it that. Cannabis, so. yeah. yeah, cannabis. Really? Uh huh. Uh huh. That's that's where that comes from. Cannabis, the, the old sails on sailing ships. You know, cannabis. Wow. They're actually I didn't made know of they hemp. Came from cannabis. So though. yeah, that's oh. that's where cannabis comes oh, from. Cannabis. Okay. Oh, good, thank you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, little, little, well, little that things there. Well, I mean, Constitution was printed. Of course, on. Constitution, yes. That's another piece of the paper. Drafts of the drafts fucked the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I think the original one was like written so, on sheep, right? Wasn't it? Uh, sheep something? Hemp's not all bad, though. Yes. <laughs> hemp's not all bad. Because we said everything good about it. What's something bad about it? And yeah, where's wait for it? Wait, bad is there something bad about it? I think I hear crickets. Right. Yeah, because there's nothing <laughs> bad about it. We, uh, we did just discuss one. Okay. What? They printed the Constitution on it. Uh, <laughs> but that wasn't the hemp's fault. That That's was, true. That's that was something wrong fault. with humans hundreds of years ago. <laughs> 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 Believing in it. Oh, of this course, it makes a great butcher. fuel source also. Yeah, yeah. it does. Very good mm-hmm. fuel Absolutely. source. Oil, uh, oh, yeah. as far as the oil goes. Mm-hmm. Then that, then turn the oil medicinal. Yeah, um, so absolutely. It has medicinal uh, qualities to the to the oils. Oh, the, CBD the, oil is really good for cancer. It's good for you know. A, a skin lot cancer. of a lot of yeah. cannabinoids uh-huh. have been shown to be really good for yeah. a ton of different ailments. Yeah. Not just cancer. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, Inflammation. S- seizures. Epil- epilepsy. Oh, really? I didn't know. Okay. Yep. I actually yeah. have a friend who uh, had seizures when she was young, and after she smoked, she never had a seizure after. Wow! Yeah. Wow. So was it something like she was having she was having to smoke every day, or is it just the one time that did it? Since like, it was after she smoked for the first time, she has never had a seizure. Well, wow. as far as I know. But you don't know how regularly she smokes. Yes, this is true. Fair but they're, enough. They're but doing that with a lot of kids with mm-hmm. uh, autism. Also, with autism, they're using they were using um, actually edibles. With, yeah, the uh, high with, with autism. Yeah, yeah. High 11, CBD. 12, 13 years old. Really? Yes. Yeah. I, I've seen even younger than that. There's a documentary. I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube uh, called Stoned Kids. Oh really? And they were uh, they're a variety of ailments, but they were using them on ch- children even younger than that. And uh, yeah, it was definitely alleviating a lot of their uh, symptoms. A very useful plant that's been used for and, thousands. And of they're years. breeding it too. Breeding specific strains for specific specific uh, ailments, because you know one. That's new. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, uh, well, there was there was one that has almost no THC in it, but it's high in another cannabinoid. I forget which one. CBD. Wasn't 
The it, was, it was probably CBD. Wasn't the original reason it got outlawed is because some paper people lobbyists? Well, there, it was, was, no, it was insane. Wasn't a lobbyist but, but it, uh, from paper? Did if you're talking about the actual was. congressional hearings, they were absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, the, the way that it was banned on the floor of Congress was the most insane shit. Like, maybe not the most insane shit, because there's a lot more examples than that. <laughs> one of the many examples of the <laughs> state... <laughs> Yeah, that, there was a lot of racism that involved. That was an argument. Yeah, there yeah. was a lot of racism involved, uh, specifically toward people from Mexico. Um, Why? What was their oh, reasoning? Right. What was their... As a matter of fact, they switched from using the word cannabis to, being to marijuana to, marijuana to, marijuana because to associate it with the shifty Mexicans. Yes. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. Wow. That, that is it. Because you, using cannabis, people, I believe, would, would have associated it more better. Uh, and, <laughs> no, better. That's what they say in Hawaii. Is that what they say in Hawaii? So I'm <laughs> good if I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> Next time in Hawaii. Filmed in Hawaii, we'll by the way. In. We'll blend in. No art. Anyway. Uh. It was Randolph Hearst that, that paid for the lobbyists. To yeah. there, there were, there were oh, multiple the people. Oh, my God. There I were like a lot Hearst. of people behind oh, it, as like far him. as I know. Oh, there, yeah. there, It wasn't just one okay. group of people who wanted uh, hemp shut down because... There are so many competing industries, as we're talking about. You could use it for yes. so many things Oil that fuel. It, it's easier to attack one industry than many. So that's one issue when it comes to why it's still not legal. Of course. Yeah. And, but, and people are driven by fear, so all these... Yeah, it's these, more fear the, the, the expert, these. If you look at the expert testimony from the, when it was first made illegal, <laughs> it's laughable. <laughs> yeah, stuff that you would. Oh. Nobody they had, these guys had today, no so. idea what they were talking about. Yes. They weren't experts <laughs> at all. It, it's insane that anybody listened to them. Let alone, yeah. There was probably a joke in between. I'm like, how dumb can we make this sound? And you think the congressman will still believe it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, can we like you know make this really stupid and then maybe see if they'll still fall for it? You know, that might have right. yeah, you know, might have been in discussion beforehand. I can see that happen. Yeah, but the U.S. Congress. I mean, those guys are always been idiots. Look, look at Fair enough. yeah, yeah. The Federal Reserve, they didn't they vote that in too? Yeah, <laughs> they got played by banksters yeah. twice. Strangely, but that's a different conversation. Yeah, yeah. twice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. one one more evi- more evidence that you can't allow the government to make decisions for you. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. what you should and should not use in many variety of products. Nutrient source, actually, I believe it's uh, even very high in protein. Yeah, I've, I've, had, um, I've had. I've um, had. Hemp protein. Yeah, there's even a. Uh, there's yeah, even. Hemp protein. There's a. There's a company called Marijuana Muscle, who use, uses hemp, to make uh, protein powder. Correct. I, I believe they I use hemp know. seeds. Yes. Yeah, it's a very. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a real good protein. Really good. Now, do you think years later, when Schwarzenegger like spends all his money, do you think he could be a spokesperson for him? That would be amazing. <laughs> 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 Has anybody seen that video where like he's smoking weed before he works out? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Schwarzenegger. There's a video. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when when I was in high school, a lot of the people who would work out for the football team, they, they'd smoke before they worked out. They yeah. swore by it, man. I mean, but I it does like, no, in it, the it, gyms, it, it, that's what you yeah, see Yeah, well, in the I can gym. tell you, I was a gymnast, and I did, we did smoke, we was young, and we did smoke right before a meet, and it's the highest I ever did. I got into states from that. I really did. <laughs> nice. I had the best states are what you want. it was. I got into states because I was so relaxed. I wasn't Has nervous. anyone done I, research? That's what we need. I don't know. It's great. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right now all we got is anecdotal evidence. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there's a reason but they called it runners high in high school. But why is it still illegal? I mean, what kind of story? Oh yeah, it's not illegal so everywhere. There we go to the money. Is that what we But about? Because, yeah. I mean, if you're talking the government, I think we all know why. There's a whole there's industry so much built money. around. I was going to say there's too much money. The drug war. Yeah. 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 Oh, That's yeah. one of the main reasons. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but the 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 budgets of police departments and federal agencies would go down to like to next to nothing because They're there wouldn't pensions, be people. That's right. <laughs> you got eighty percent of the population of the of prisoners going away for. Is it really that high? Yeah, eighty uh, percent. Uh, and wow. something to that wow. effect, yes. And that's something like. So I'm not. This? I'm not positive about this, but something like sixty percent of that is for marijuana possession. And is this part of the where it's going to save the world, where 
we're not going to be abusing people hor well it's not us obviously right but people won't be horribly abused by this gang of thugs. for having a plant yeah they didn't harm anybody well, it's, it's violence they, you it's know a it's like crime. violence creates more violence but you'll have so... you'll have less peaceful people yeah being yeah being assaulted and and imprisoned you'll have better textiles paper clothing Building materials, more mellow people. Oh my goodness! Yeah, <laughs> more creative and, people. Yeah, I'd right. Say. Yeah, yeah. You got to give it to it. Yeah. Let's be real. It works. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's illegal, at least right now, it's unregulated. And if people were smoking that instead of drinking, uh, there would be a lot less violence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. a yeah. lot. It it, it yeah. is really interesting that. The that the the drug that they the two drugs that they consider illegal are the ones that really kind of do the most legal? damage to you, or the ones that they yeah consider illegal. The ones that do the most damage for yeah. you, tobacco mm-hmm. and alcohol. I mean, you know, if if you if you're drinking a whole lot, you're probably doing some heavy heavy damage to your liver, and. And then there's it's more addicting than anything else other than maybe heroin. Yeah, there's only... And two there's there's debate over whether it's yeah, worse, even, yeah. worse than heroin yeah. or not. Right. Yeah, there's only two drugs uh, that, uh, from what I've heard, that, that they know of where the withdrawal can actually kill you, and that's alcohol and heroin. Yeah. The other mm-hmm. ones are just going to suck, but, you know... <laughs> it should definitely be up to the individual, though, to make their own decision. Yeah. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah. Especially when it comes to marijuana or any self, what you want to wear, <laughs> whatever, yeah, yeah. Any, yeah, you know, ingest or anything. It's as long as you're not harming anybody, it's not an issue. Is there, if there's no victim, no crime, right? Exactly. Of course. That's uh, definitely a theme. You know, if there's no victim, if there, there, who did you harm? You didn't hurt anybody. Yeah. There has to be a victim. So if that's if why there wasn't a state, there would be nobody complaining because nobody got harmed. But it's yeah. a gateway drug, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Comical relief. Gateway to food, maybe. Wait a minute. <laughs> Gateway to funnies, yeah. man, and a lot of water. Yeah. But um, I think my first beer led me away a lot of things. But <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, uh, it's just so wild like that that you know it's certain things that are illegal, just things, and then they're like, oh well, you can't have it because the state says so. And then you get arrested, and they're all like, oh, you're arrested, you're in jail, you committed a crime, who did I harm? And then they try to be like, oh, you harmed the state. Okay, fine. Tell me what this date is. Somebody, anybody in this room. And they can't answer it. Let me, let me go apologize yeah. to the state thing that you keep talking yeah. about. Just, are, just are bring you him the out. state? Can I shake and your hand and call it a day? Or do I have to go up to Sacramento and, and, and another believe mark, the governor? I'd say it's or? another mark against that so-called constitution protecting your rights. And yeah. you're supposed to be able to uh, go... What's I can't remember what the term they use, but basically confront your person who's accusing you. Right? Yeah. And who who's accusing you of harming them? The state? Like, the, how could they be the party? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you can't then, say the state is the party. Not to mention that, but when the state is the one that's harmed, you have the state as the defendant, uh, or the, the pros- state as the prosecutor, prosecutor, the judge, the judge. They're choosing the jury. <laughs> this seems a little one sided. <laughs> yeah, so it seems a little one sided here. Yeah, I wouldn't call that justice one bit. You can't have justice if they're, if they're, you know, all three of the people who are parties in it that aren't you are all getting be, being paid by the same organization. And you know, they're the ones like, that you like supposedly I, harmed. It's like yeah. if I were to go, hey, hey Mike, um, I got together with myself and decided that I don't like your hair. And uh, <laughs> so I'm... I, I'm gonna make that illegal, <laughs> and the, and what and what your hair and and whether you've committed the crime or not is up to me as well. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, I'll be fair because we'll have a trial of the three of me. <laughs> me myself well, and I'm, I. I'm, 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 I'm going to prosecute you, and then I'll decide whether you're guilty or not. <laughs> and I probably After a bunch of people that I picked also agree with me. And don't forget <laughs> yeah. the prison system. And I and and I respond with Steve, have you had enough sleep? <laughs> you know, do you maybe need to you know kick back for a couple of days. But it seems like you're under a lot of stress. You're kind of saying things that don't make sense. <laughs> for one thing, my hair is beautiful. <laughs> uh, 
exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, hemp oil. I mean that that is a really good uh, for your skin and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Not to mention ingesting it, it's better than, uh, you know, well, I don't know, canola oil. That's pretty bad stuff, isn't it? Um, canola oil, yeah, you shouldn't actually. Yeah, canola oil is like machine oil. Yeah. Um, so hemp oil would it's be much yeah. genetically yeah. modified rapeseed oil. Rapeseed. Uh. Yeah. Rapeseed. The, rape the word rape is in it. That should have been, <laughs> that should have been a tip off as to whether or not that's a good idea. Hey, it says rape in this plant. Maybe, maybe, maybe this isn't healthy. <laughs> what is it? I think flax. Flax is rated a very high protein. Yeah, flax. Uh, from what yeah. I understand, is uh, yeah. hemp oil is 16 times the protein. Oh, is it really a flax? Uh, a flax. Wow. Flax. Wow. Yes. wow. I didn't know it was that much. Um, that's what it, I had yeah. read on. Well, so so we're talking about flaxseed oil, canola oil, and hemp oil. What I what I have to ask at that point is like, which which of those would be most useful to to use as lubrication for your robot? Oh wait, uh. that's, a, that's a that's a good question because you know we got this friend uh -huh. who came up with a a hemp lubricant. Okay, oh, yeah. you remember that. It's um, cananaboid, yeah, it's actually... Who was yeah, it? More I can't remember who came up with it. Oh, uh, I don't know. No, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> say your name on, on okay. air. Uh, and, but, uh, yeah, that's, there's another use. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a fully lubricated uh, robot... I'd definitely have to go with the hemp oil, yeah. Yeah, I'd okay, I'd hemp oil for your sex robot. Of course, yeah. of course. Of I'm just saying, you know, if we're talking about use robots, it for other part, that's you know, the other end of conversation. Well, definitely okay. other parts of well. <laughs> yeah. Keep um, everything lubricated. Everything needs to be yes, lubricated yes. for your sex I mean, it's robot. good for the skin, you need <laughs> artificial skin, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the artificial skin that's not invented yet, I'm sure it's good for that. It's got to be some good latex, right? Something like that. Well, yeah, I don't think it'll lead to the latex because it's not a petroleum. Right, right, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's uh, not accurate at all. Great. So it might actually work well for hmm, other types of. <laughs> Should start a <laughs> Kickstarter or some shit. Uh, there, there are products out there that are already doing this. But that robots, is, oh, though? Right. No, maybe uh, not. Robots with a lubricated robot. with hemp oil. I'm not know. sure if that exists uh, yet. I don't know. That was mm. the plan. <laughs> but I, I think we're going to need to save that for a dedicated episode at some point in the future. Yeah. As yeah. we have been We've, slacking on for so long now. Viewers, we definitely will give you an at episode. At one point, <laughs> we there will. will be a robot sex episode. It's, we it's will. It's in the mix. We gotta, we're scripting just, it out right now. Just continue to watch. And one of these days, we're actually going to get to that subject. <laughs> Script it out. Stay we're tuned. At some it's point the in the editor. future. <laughs> Possibly next week. <laughs> Don't take Matt's oh, laughing what, what, what? as he thinks it's a joke either. This is a serious conversation. <laughs> we we always have serious conversations on the show. Robots be smoking? able to get high? You have to do that or? after the robots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 if they had the robots grow yeah. these substances, who would be... Oh, I mean, that's right. I mean, could we... We can't... They're not... Yeah, and who, are they, who, who are they going to arrest? Yeah, who are they going to arrest? arrest? Exactly. I mean, I think we figured it I out. I think guys. we just figured it out. <laughs> we need to cut this camera out. And just sex robots as well.